Hello YouTube. Today we'll be doing the first two steps of setting up our edit profile UI. The first two steps include creating a reference to the fire database and storage, and then loading that information into our profile. I'm going to get a little bit more in depth in this video than I have in previous videos to really concrete the idea of what we're doing and why we're doing it. So if this sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. Okay. So in GitHub, there's a project called SD web image. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this to load the image into our edit profile UI. So the first thing we want to do is add the pod to our pod file. So if you scroll down, you can copy and paste this and we'll put that into our pod file. And then when we want to use this, what we'll do is we'll import the SD web image after we install the pod. And then this is how we will use it. So uh, within our image view that we set up, we will call SD underscore set image and pass in the URL from Firebase. All right, let's see what that looks like. So let's take a look at Instagram's edit profile UI. As we see, there are several text fields, buttons, and labels. The buttons allow to cancel the action of editing the profile and want to save any action done to the profile. Now, the more interesting piece of this would be in the photo, uploading the photo. So here you have a label that says change photo. We also have um, an image view. This is where the user's profile image will display. Now, the way I think this works is when the user clicks this area, a dialogue to load a photo pops up. Now what I'm thinking is happening is there's a button over this whole image. So that way when a user taps anywhere inside of this image, they get the dialogue. So let's take a look at our app in order to accomplish the same thing Instagram has with the edit profile. We are going to create an image view, a few text fields in order to update the username and the display name, as well as somewhere the user can place a bio. So we're going to handle the button actions later, but let's go ahead and jump into the code now that we know what we have set up. Okay. So, so far, this is what our code looks like. We have access to the images, the user text display name, and the bio text. We're also going to create a link to our database and our storage. So, and our view did load, we're going to establish those references as well. So up to this point right now, don't worry about load profile. We will discuss that next. So if the user is already logged in, which they should be, um, in order to get to this page. So we're going to get the user ID here and in our database, so we're going to get the user ID here. Now let's talk about what that is. So current user gets the object of the user. Okay. So this seems like a good time to actually go into this code and really understand what it's doing. Okay. So what I have here is I have an if statement that is attempting to get the user ID from the current user. So at this point, when we get into the code, we are already logged in and this is just going to provide us with a unique ID in order to identify the user within our fire database. Now we created a database reference earlier here. So that's basically just going to point to our database, right? So then what we want to do is, so now that we have this point, we're actually pointed to our database here. What we need to do is then find a child of this database called profile. And if you look down here, here's our profile. So this and this are the same thing. So once we've traversed into our database, into profile, we want to then traverse into our unique ID, which we got here. So this is the user's pro, uh, ID. And within the database, this long number here is going to be 
this. So this and this is the same thing. Now, the observe function is going to pull back the information and then um, into the value for snapshot, the values for this into snapshot, okay? So this whole thing is going to be our snapshot. All right, I hope that explains it a little bit. That way you guys know exactly how this thing is gonna be set up. Now let's jump back to the video. Observe, and let's look at observe. All right, so here we go. Let me just uh, go here. And this gives information on exactly what you're doing. Um, it says observed is used to listen for data changes at a particular location. This is the primary way to read data from the fire database. So basically what we're doing is we're reading or attempting to read data from the fire database. Okay. Now, and once we get that information, so once we call out and we say, Hey, you know, for this profile and this user ID child underneath the profile, can you give me back that information that's there? And what Firebase is going to do, if it can give you that information back, it's going to put it into this snapshot. Um, and after it does that, then what we're going to do is we're going to store the data as a dictionary in order to be able to use it. So in here, what we're doing is dictionary. So values is going to be the set of values underneath that branch in Firebase. So let's see. So see we have bio, we're getting, we're getting back bio, display, email, photo, and username. And we're getting that all back within the snapshot and then we're storing the values. So for, for bio, the key bio, this will be the value for the key display. This mean being will be the value. Same thing with email, photo, and username is key value pair. So we're going to get that back. So that way we can use it in order to fill the information. Okay. And the first thing we want, I'm going to do is I want to try to fill in the photo. Now, we want to make sure that there's a photo to fill in. So we're doing this if let. Now you could do other ways of making sure you could do guards and things like that. But um, in this situation, I'm just going to take it right from the way Google set it up. And I'm going to do, well, I don't know if they said that, did I? I'm going to do it this way. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get um, the profile image URL, which is a string in my database. And then I'm going to use um, the SD set image in order to load the image, which makes it really simple. So I have the URL self.profileImageView. Profile image view here. Profile image view here. This is going to be our image view on our view controller. Okay. And within there, we have a place to actually put our string. So we're taking this string here, the URL, and we're going to put, we're going to use this to put the image into the image view. After that, we're just going to simply fill in the username text from the dictionary where the key is username. So that should give us Amina. Then we're going to get display name. And that's the same. We can just go look at that. So for the key display, the value is mean bean. So it's going to fill that with mean bean. And the same thing for bio. So let's see if we have any bio in here. Did I put any bio? I did. I did. So we're going to have an SAP developer as bio. Okay. 
So after we do that, let's go ahead and try to run it and see what happens. Okay, so if we just go into our profile, all right, and if we go to edit profile, there we go. So next what we'll be doing is we'll be setting up the mechanics to actually go ahead and when this picture is clicked to update it. So this source code will be linked down in the description below, below, what the f below, as well as um, the link for the SD uh, web image. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Until next time, see you later. We will be doing more stuff on here.